The On The Reef program started way back in the mid-90s with some passionate tourism operators in the Port Douglas area. These tourism operators took a really uh, passionate interest in what was going on on the reef, recognising that there were changes occurring. So they wanted to uh, instigate a, a monitoring program that they could do as part of their work day. These days, Island Reef is much bigger than the Tourism Weekly program. Essentially what we've got is two community-based programs and two professional-based programs. The two community-based programs are our Sightings Network with the smartphone app now and the Rapid Monitoring program. In terms of professional tools in the Island Reef program, the Tourism Weekly and the Reef Health and Impact Survey tools. All of the information from the various Eye on the Reef programs go into our integrated database and it is used by researchers and managers to look at trends in species, look at impacts in coral and combine all of these things into a much larger picture of understanding. The reason we're here today is we've got um, a group of our staff and we're making sure that they know how to do our reef health and impact survey. The survey involves us getting a quick overview picture of a particular coral reef system and it works by helping us to understand key signs of the condition of the system and then key impacts, things like coral bleaching, coral diseases or when corals are broken by cyclones and of course things like pranicle and starfish. It's mainly done by marine park rangers and Great Barrier Marine Park Authority staff but also tourism operators, people like the pranicle and starfish control team but also experienced researchers and experienced volunteers. My relationship with the Great Barrier Marine Park Authority started out in doing the Tourism Weekly surveys through the Eye on the Reef program. When I got a job with Marine Parks and the Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service, I was then intimately involved with the Great Barrier Marine Park Authority because we're partner organisations. We work together on a lot of different projects through the field management program. A big part of the field management program is doing the reef health impact surveys all along the coastline, especially in areas that the tourism industry can't get to. Eye on the Reef is such a powerful program because the reef is so large, there's no one organisation that can possibly sample and monitor it all at the same time. We have to include all of our reef users. And Iron Reef has a tool for everyone. No matter who you are, there is somewhere that you can plug in and you can give something back to the marine park.